hello students here i have a question which has a figure and the question says in the figure if ob this is ob this line is ob if ob is equal to 4 cm find bd and ac in first part they are asking us to find bd and in the second part they are asking us to find ac so bd is a part of ob we know that ob is equal to 4 cm we don't know the measurement of bd or do we just know that this entire line is 4 cm so if the entire line is 4 cm to find bd i don't know the value of bd so i'm taking it as x if bd is x do is the remaining part of 4 so out of this entire 4 cm bd is x cm so do will be the remaining of 4 cm so from 4 we will remove this x so do is 4 minus x for example i have a line pq which is equal to 5 cm and i have a segment pr which is 2 cm so if pr is 2 cm rq will be the remaining part of 5 cm so out of 5 cm this part is gone so 2 cm 5 minus 2 which is 3 cm so this 2 cm plus this 3 cm gives me 5 cm the same concept the entire line is 4 cm if one part is x cm the remaining part so the leftover part is do do will be 4 minus this x so out of this 4 i am removing this x so this is 4 minus x now to find ac we will have to add cd and db we don't know either the value of cd or ad so we have to find that after finding the value of x because if we know the value of bd so in this triangle x and 5 cm once x is known two sides of this triangle will be known and the third side can be found using the pythagoras theorem so first our aim is to find the value of bd so now look at these two triangles we have angle b and angle o to be 90 degree they are mentioned in the question so this symbol represents perpendicular line so on a perpendicular line the angle formed is 90 degree between these two perpendicular lines the angle formed is 90 degree so these two angles are equal and this angle is equal to ADO BDC is equal to ADO because they are vertically opposite angles now in these two triangles two pairs of triangles are equal one pair here and the second pair here one pair they are equal because they are 90 degree the other pair they are equal because they are vertically opposite angles so obviously the third angle the third pair of angles will also be same now we have bcd equal to dao angle now since three pairs of angles are same in these two triangles we can call these two triangles as similar triangles we cannot tell that these two triangles are congruent because to prove the congruency of triangles we need to show at least one pair of sides are equal here we don't have any pair of sides to be equal see this is 5 cm and this is 3 cm this is x and this is 4 minus x this is cd and this is da which whose values are not known so we cannot assure that a pair of sides are equal in these two triangles so we cannot call them congruent triangles but we can call them as similar triangles in similar triangles the corresponding 
sides the ratio of the corresponding sides will be equal corresponding sides means the sides opposite to equal angles so here i have these two equal angles so the corresponding sides are 5 and 3 so in similar triangles in similar triangles the ratio of corresponding sides are equal so these two are similar triangles because we have all three pairs of angles to be equal so now we let us take the ratio of corresponding sides first i will take the corresponding sides e opposite to this pair of angles these are equal angles so the corresponding sides are 5 and 3 so the ratio of that is 5 by 3 now i cannot take the sides opposite to 90 degree because the sides opposite to 90 degree are unknown now i will take this pair of angles first i took this now i will take this pair now the side opposite to this is x and the side opposite to this angle a is 4 minus x so since i took 5 cm first here also i will take the side from this triangle so opposite to this is x and here the opposite side is 4 minus x so this is one pair of corresponding sides and this is the other pair of corresponding sides the ratio are equal so we put an equal to sign now to find the value of x we will have to cross multiply 5 into 4 minus x is equal to 3x so 20 minus 5x is equal to 3x so 8x is equal to 20 therefore x is equal to 20 by 8 which is equal to 2.5 cm so we wanted to find the value of x which is the value of bd therefore we found bd bd is equal to 2.5 now we know the value of bd to be 2.5 therefore the value of do will be 4 minus 2.5 which is 1.5 cm so now we know bd and do so now i am taking the triangle bcd so in triangle b c d we know c d is the hypotenuse we don't know the value of that we have to find that in order to find the value of a c so now i am taking this triangle in this triangle c d square is equal to b c square plus b d square in the same way in this triangle i have to find ad in order to find ac because ac is equal to cd plus ad so in triangle ado ad is the hypotenuse because it is opposite to 90 degree so ad square is equal to do square plus ao square so we know so much because this is the pythagoras theorem's equation hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides so from these two triangles we wrote down the pythagoras theorem's equation now we will substitute the values cd square is equal to the value of bc is 5 so 5 square plus bd square what is the value of bd 2.5 so this is 25 plus 2. Point, sorry 6.25 so cd square is equal to 31.25 therefore the value of cd is square root of 
टू फाइव सो द स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ थर्टी वन पॉइंट टू फाइव इज फाइव पॉइंट फाइव नाइन सेंटीमीटर देर फोर वी फाउंड द वैल्यू ऑफ सी डी नाउ टू फाइंड ए डी स्क्वेर वी विल सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ डी ओ एंड ए नाउ लुक इन टू द फिगर डी ओ इज वन पॉइंट फाइव एंड ए इज थ्री सेंटीमीटर So DO is one point five. So DO square plus AO is three. AO square two point two five plus nine. So AD square is equal to eleven point two five. Therefore, AD to find AD we will have to take the square root of eleven point two five. Which is equal to three point three five centimeter. Now, as we discussed earlier, to find AC, we will have to add AD and DC. So AD plus CD will give me the entire AC. So I know the value of CD. I found it as five point five nine, and the value of AD is three point three five. So when I add both these values, I will get the entire length of AC. Therefore, AC is equal to CD plus AD, which is equal to five point five nine. Plus three point three five, which is equal to eight point nine four centimeter. So now we have the value of AC, and we have the value of BD. So we found both the values of BD and AC. Thank you.